Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Udo Quad. Now, I haven't brought this board out in a while, and that's because the performance is very low on it. There's an image for Android, Ubuntu, and I've been trying to get Laka to run on it. The other day I made a video using the Latte Panda running Laka. And the dev who helped me with that actually sent me an image for this, and it works. It boots directly up. It works pretty well. This thing has a Freescale IMX6 ARM Cortex A9 CPU. It's a quad core at one gigahertz of Avanti GC2000 CPU. One of the cool things about this board, it has an Arduino built into it. I mean, it has the CPU for the Arduino and the pinouts. Ethernet, Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. It has a SATA port. I haven't done much with it. Now the performance is very low in emulators like PSX and N64, but we do have really good emulation with the SNES, Virtual Boy, and Genesis. Now the problem is I don't have many ROMs right now. I'm actually backing up my old hard drive trying to restore it to a new hard drive because I wrote an image to it. So for now we got these games to test out. We're going to go with we're going to go with Primal Rage. Now the FPS listed in the bottom left hand corner, I'm not exactly sure if it's for the emulator or for the front end, the locker front end. It just went up to 60, so it may be for the emulators. Sometimes it doesn't change for me, so that's why I was wondering. But SNES, full speed emulation, really nice, no lag in the controller. I am using a wired PS3 controller. The board itself cost $135, way overpriced for what it is. If you're into Arduino and stuff like that, I mean, it could be cool to get a hold of one of these. You might want to check out like eBay for a secondhand market on one. But we're going to exit here as soon as I get my hard drive situation sorted out. I'm going to try PSX and things like that. But for now, we're going to go with Wario Land. All right, here we go. Get out of here. Runs pretty good. I mean, even if we are at the 44 FPS that it says at the bottom, it's really not that bad for Virtual Boy. So I'm using recovery software on my hard drives right now and it's telling me I have seven hours left until it recovers. Everything on the hard drive is a three terabyte hard drive with like two terabytes of information on it. So it's taking a long time and I need to back that data when it recovers it to another drive. So that's going to take even longer. About 48 hours of doing all this. So, oh man, I didn't even see that lava. And we're going to do Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. I freaking love this game. Now, you know, I grew up playing this one. This is one that I used to rent from a local video mart called Crystal Video. I never listened to Michael Jackson or anything. I just really did like this game. Back in the day, I really didn't notice that I was saving little children and all the trouble that Michael Jackson had been into. It's kind of ironic. Genesis, full speed, 60 FPS. So I'm guessing that the FPS in the bottom left-hand corner is the emulator itself.
Now they stated that this was supposed to be faster than the Raspberry Pi 3, but with the optimization of the Raspberry Pi 3, the Pi trumps this board. Touchy controls here. It does run Doom really well, though. Oh, and I know this wasn't a really hardcore game to run. Runs on pretty much everything. They got this running on ATM machines, freaking Tamagotchis. This is the Doom 64 version, though. Where you at, buddy? Jeez. A little laggy there. If that FPS is correct, we're very low here. Even for this game. Just wanted to show you guys really quick. So I appreciate you guys watching. That was just a quick look at Laka running on the Udo Quad. I'm going to do more testing on this as soon as I get my hard drive situation figured out. Like always, thanks for watching.